think Wait, the American there, public. Excuse me, would, there, but there's no why, there's no connection it. to President Biden. So what can you explain that? What are you talking about? Well, uh, yeah, well, yes, ma'am, there is this this latest transaction. There absolutely is, and there's a monthly payment. Wait, are you talking the about the thirteen hundred the thirteen hundred eighty dollar transaction, the the car payment reimbursement? Well, that, that, now that's what they're calling it. But actually, I was actually no. That's talking what your the your the committee about, the committee put out a receipt that shows it's a reimbursement for a car payment. And well, and also some of the other the ways in which you're characterizing some of the things about the involvement, it's just not as clear cut as you are uh, characterizing yeah. it to are, be. Are so let me. Are you gonna let me talk? Well, I am going to make. Let me talk or I, I am. I did let you speak. Me speak uh, well, Congressman, no, with all due respect, I did let. You. Me. I know. This is CNN, no, I. And that's what you no, you're speaking over me, sir. With all due, re with all due respect, I let you speak, people. and the then truth. I clarified just to be clear about what you were saying. So then, let me ask you this, and I will let you speak, since you're saying. Uh, you know that so much of this has to do with President Biden, although there is no evidence of that. Will the Oversight Committee subpoena him? Will the Oversight Committee subpoena who? President, President. Biden or, or, or Hunter? I don't know. Um, at some point, I suspect that could happen, but I doubt he would show, and I doubt Hunter is going to show now that he has officially been indicted for tax evasion and and uh, uh, arms uh, uh, having a pistol when he was in fact on drugs. But back to my previous point, there is a clear line between the communist China $5 million investment with Hunter Biden. Man, the only qualification he has, as far as I can see, or job on a job application is, is hookers and crack cocaine. Let's just be honest. This guy is bad news. And you all want to cover for him and that's fine. That was MAGA Republican Congress member Tim Burchett just totally losing his mind as he was confronted with facts by CNN reporter Brianna Keeler, who was just doing a great job right there. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. These MAGA Republicans like Tim Burchett want us to focus on charts like this one right here, which is the Hunter Biden payments to various women in the new indictment that was unsealed in Los Angeles federal court, which went through all of this lewd and lascivious conduct while Hunter Biden was a drug addict, which Tim Burchett wanted to highlight. By the way, Hunter Biden is Yale educated. He sat on the board of UN Food. Like He had a career before falling into the depths of drug addiction, which many people have family members or many people have experienced as well after his brother passed away due to cancer. And he's someone who has also lost his mother and sister due to very very tragic deaths, but his brother's death was obviously very triggering. But MAGA Republicans want us to focus on what Hunter Biden was doing while he was a drug addict instead of graphs like this right here, graphs showing that a President Biden economy and the job booms obtained there far outpaces anything with Donald Trump. The MAGA Republicans would rather us look at Hunter Biden escort payments than 199,000 new jobs added to the unemployment rate um, and unemployment, 199,000 new jobs added in the unemployment rate uh, decreasing to 3.7% and other graphs like that. They don't want us to look at that. Let me show you. This is MAGA Republican Tim Burchett, as well as Brianna Keeler continues to push back right here. I just want to show you the contrast here, folks. Here, play this clip. And the breaking news, an early holiday gift on the economy. In fact, in a way, it's the gift that keeps on giving. The jobs report just in a few minutes ago, beating expectations, 199,000 new jobs added in the unemployment rate dropped. It is low. CNN's Rahel Solomon is with us now. And Rahel, like I said, this is the gift that keeps on giving. The story of 2023 is an economy that just stayed strong. Yeah, John, it's the story of 2023. It's the story of 2022, because as you pointed out, this is the 35th month of job growth. So this is the gift that's been giving for almost three years now. So let's go through the numbers. 199,000 jobs, as you pointed out, in the month of November. To put that in perspective, the expectation had been closer to 180,000. And remember, Tim Burchett, who you're seeing there kind of totally and utterly flip out. Here he is, you recall a few months back when he was asked about 
what we can be doing with responsible gun ownership and Tim Burchett's responses. We ain't ever going to fix it. Here, play the clip. Three precious little kids lost their lives, and I believe three adults, I believe. It's, and um, and the shooter, of course, lost their life, too. So it's, it's a horrible, horrible situation. And we're not going to fix it. Criminals are going to be criminals. And my daddy fought in the Second World War, fought in the Pacific, fought the Japanese. And he told me, he said, buddy, he said, if somebody wants to take you out and doesn't mind losing their life, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. Or Tim Burchett, who, by the way, mainstream MAGA Republican. This is like what a MAGA Republican is today. Here he is calling to defund the FBI, DOJ, and Department of Defense. Play the clip. We've got to say, hey, we're going to cut y'all's money off. We're tired of it. You all are not acting in good faith. None of these agencies are, and they're just overrun. It didn't it didn't happen overnight, but it, it, it sure as hell feels like it all of a sudden that they're, because they have, um, from the FBI, Department of Justice, Department of Defense, all of them, they won't give you a straight answer. And, um, and so fine. I just say cut their money off until they come to the table. And here is Tim Burchett, MAGA Republican Congress member, basically insinuating that he and MAGA Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace have compromise on Kevin McCarthy. Play this clip. He also has $17 million um, in an account um, that he'll be messing in a lot of people like mine and Nancy Mace's campaigns, I'm sure. And so... Um, I don't know if he know, does that with Nancy Mace. She could come back at him with some stuff that he doesn't want out there in yeah. the public, I think, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, she she's already told me. She said, "I hope he does that with me, and um, and she'll take care of him. She takes care of her own." But I and here Tim Burchett, when confronted with why he was supporting George Santos, he and the MAGA Republicans, the majority of uh, all Republicans, actually voted to save George Santos. 105 voted to oust him. His response is that, well, because we're just all a bunch of sinners. This is Tim Burchett right here. Play the clip. Why? Don't you have any concerns about his conduct? I mean, all the allegations, the criminal charges, he's admitted to lying about so much of his life. I mean, why should he be walking around here going to classified briefings and the like? To say that anybody in Congress can cast stones. I mean, we're... We're a bunch of sinners, and that's basically what we all are. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Congressman. Copilot is a personalized fitness solution. Every individual is unique, so your fitness journey should be too. Copilot's app links you with an affordable, real-life fitness coach who customizes workouts tailored to your individual needs and goals. No fitness fads here. Work out anywhere, anytime, and make fitness a seamless part of your lifestyle. With Copilot, you'll get completely personalized workouts with step-by-step -step guidance. Your coach continuously updates and adapts every workout to your goals, schedules, and yes, even injuries. The My Copilot app offers a connection to a real-life expert coach, and the workout plans are tailored by your coach, which are meant to be enjoyable and effective with regular progress check-ins and support, and the guidance that you need for your fitness journey. The workout programs are designed around your specific lifestyle, and the ability to work out at your convenience anywhere is amazing. My Copilot makes it easy to start and stay committed to your fitness goals. My coach is a total rock star. He keeps me motivated and committed to the program that he's designed specifically for me. The thing is, Copilot coaches, they're here to help you, and they truly want to see you succeed at every step of the way. The flexibility of Copilot, with all you know the busy schedules we have going on, makes this the perfect way to stay committed. The fact that the workouts are planned and designed by my coach allows me to take even less off my plate and focus on reaching my peak performance. Now, I'd love for you to follow my lead and get fit and feel fabulous. Give Copilot a try to find out why it was listed by Forbes as the top-rated personal trainer app of 2023. Head to go.mycopilot.com slash Midas to get a 14-day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness with your own personal trainer if you sign up before February 1st, 2024. That's go.mycopilot.com slash Midas to get a free 14-day trial and 20% off your first month. Sign up for the new year and let Copilot help you reach your fitness goals. Okay, so while that is going on, while they want us to focus on Hunter Biden, consensual sex 
when he was a drug addict, I mean, and, and that he repaid the taxes in 2021. And by the way, you have Rudy Giuliani. He's got a $500,000 tax lien. I think Roger Stone, $2 million. But don't get me wrong. They, they don't get charged, but they, they want to charge Hunter Biden and have this like 59-page indictment that attacks him for like morality and then just goes back to taxes that he paid. But in any event, you still, if you're law and order, you should care about people being prosecuted if they committed crimes. But that's where they're focused on. I'll tell you where my focus on is this. This is a guest on Fox talking about the jobs that have been created. 14 million jobs created, economic growth at 5%, unemployment at historic lows. Play the clip. We sure like what's in it, though. We like 14 million jobs created, almost a million in manufacturing, economic growth at 5%, unemployment at historic lows, uh, small business records being broken there. So we do, we do love talking about Bidenomics. We love talking about the components of it. And if you actually ask the voters, they love that stuff. They love the infrastructure bill when you actually talk to them about what's in the bill. I they love seeing bridges built, roads built, jobs being you know, created. Or here's how CNN talked about it. Play the clip. And a big jobs report in this morning, beating expectations. It is the economy that just keeps on giving. But even Fox's uh, Ducey, <laughs> little Ducey, uh, says that, look, Republicans have been unable to connect anything to President Joe Biden. Here, play the clip. The House Oversight Committee has been at this for years, and they have so far not been able to provide any concrete evidence that Joe Biden personally profited from his son Hunter's overseas business, but they are going to try again with this impeachment inquiry that's set to start next week still. Peter, thanks very much. So folks, I think it's important that we talk about these alternatives and I'll let you decide in the comments. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 2 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Appreciate it and have a good day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.